double date white zaddy if he makes $15 an hour in Amazon. What is good people and welcome on another episode. If you are joining for the very first time, I see you. And I want to say a big thank you to all of you guys who have been supporting this channel. I really, really appreciate it. Yesterday, we talked about the podcast pandemic. The man who was talking about how he has been treating his wife post-infidelity, literally having a child on her. And I said, if I have to see it and I have to hear it, you guys literally have to hear it and see it as well. Well, we were still on that because that was very funny. If you have not checked out that video, go and check out that video. It will be two videos down to this one. So just go check it. That was still going on. Then another clip from another podcast started going viral again. This woman clearly said that if you earn $50,000 per year, as to what I understood from what she was trying to say, that you should not be dating. And this particular one, has gotten on the nerves of so many people like what are you saying and average income in the united states you mean that those people who are together and they earn around under a month don't deserve to be together like what exactly are you saying i am going to roll the clip in a second so without wasting much time let's dive in so if you're making fifty thousand dollars don't date I'm I'm just being for real. You're not ready to date. Again, I'm with you. You're not right. ready to date. You're not ready to date because courtship costs. Okay. Everything costs. Okay. You can go for 22 walks in the park. Eventually, Shorty is going to need a sip of something. She's going to be thirsty. <laughs> this <laughs> bottle of water is $3 in Atlanta. Let's not play. So if you don't have any expendable cash, don't date. And whatever that looks like for you, you might only make 50000 but you live in a shoe. And now you got expendable cash. Or get you a bottom of the barrel bitch that's going to date you when you have no money. If she doesn't have that expectation, and I'm going to tell you this right now, enjoy it while it lasts because eventually you're going to want to run. Because she doesn't stretch you. She doesn't make you the man that you need to become. She allows you to be the stagnant dude in the same jeans for days. You know what I'm saying? Be cutting up. I'm you talk about me. I'm, I'm just being for real. You're not Do these women know what the average income is for a white man in the United States? I mean, any clue? Well, if you didn't know, it's $50,000 a year. So it's really not $50,000 a year because y'all will date this white zaddy if he makes $15 an hour at Amazon. What you really wanted to say was black men, if you make less than $50,000, don't date. Isn't it funny? how they put these stipulations on black men. Meanwhile, she doesn't even qualify for any of those type of benefits in mean, any way, shape or form. I mean, just from looking at her. Isn't it funny how they'll place these stipulations on black men? Meanwhile, she doesn't even qualify for anybody over that makes over $50,000 in any way, shape or form. I mean, I just, just, just look, we, I know it, you know it, we just got to be honest with each other because <clears throat> I don't know how many times I done walked up doing one of my routes and it'll be some white dude working at Skeeter's garage or Amazon and you'll see a black woman, a bunch of mixed kids in some shack <laughs> I'm talking about living the good life. Black women, I'm sorry, but y'all got to come down to earth and face reality with a lot of this stuff. I'm not saying you got to, and before you even open your mouths and say somebody's saying to date poor, $50,000 a year is not poor, especially when the average, the median average income is between $43,000 to $50,000 a year for white men, black men, that sort of thing. You know what I'm saying? But y'all are going to sit up here while y'all making $15 an hour to $20 an hour yourselves talking about he broke. So um, unless you're making fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars a year, which I seriously doubt many of you are, no matter what you come up and say, you got no leg to stand on talking about what somebody else got to make. Make it yourself. Then talk about what a man has to make, because I I know from enough times I've gone out, most of y'all ain't cutting it. And the ones that are, aren't online complaining about what a man's got to make because they're already running across those men that are making it because they put themselves in a position that they're only come across those men and no other type of men. It's that simple. 
And it's funny because it'll be a lot of women that'll come in here talking about, I got this, I live like that, blah, 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 blah. And it was funny because I saw one on here doing that, that's from this neck of the woods. And I saw her valeting cars at Legacy Village. So, yeah. You're not ready to date because courtship costs. Approximately 50%. By her math, approximately 50% of the adult working population of America does not deserve romantic love or companionship. The point of this video is not to tell you to date um, someone who makes less than you. I'm not telling you to tie yourself financially with someone. And if it's not comfortable, that is a decision you have to make for yourself. Keyword, yourself. You make that decision for yourself. The point of this video is I am tired of these people who have amplified their voices via the use of cheap target microphones and have filled up our airways with rhetoric about people's income and earning brackets and potentials. The truth is you could use your voice, your now amplified voice, your mic and your studio time to come after the corporations that have inflated the cost of basic goods, services and amenities. She went on in her video to talk about how a bottle of water in Atlanta cost her three dollars. That is the problem, sweetheart. Not the fact that someone is earning fifty thousand dollars, but the fact that someone is selling a bottle of water for three dollars. We need to start paying attention to the real villains here because the truth is that fifty thousand dollars you're talking about probably was. 30 to 40 hours of work done every week to get them that. And with that $50, they still can afford basic luxuries, like taking someone they're interested in romantically out for a good lunch, a brunch, a dinner, or buy a coffee. Like who are the It is not here? their fault. It is who the fault blaming? of the powers that be. So stop speaking down on them and start speaking down on the powers just that shut. be. Or just don't speak Don't even speak. All. Foolish goods. That, that's that's oh, an damn. option. Nonsense. Th that, what that's kind of a better option. Is this? Yeah, for real. Um, real quick, just two things. I'm kind of over all this at this point. 2024. We're still having the same conversation. Uh, just list the price for what it costs, so people can just know what it is up front, and we don't have to play these stupid games. And B, uh, outside of the 80s C R A C A K epidemic. Uh, podcast is probably the worst thing that ever happened to my community in the last since like Reconstruction and Jim Crow. Because at this point, what are we talking about? So, um, yeah, that's it. Y'all have a great day. This conversation have my people in a chokehold. I need y'all to let this ish go. Am I promoting struggle love? Absolutely not. But if the first thing you want to do when you go out and date someone is look at how much money they make. You need to not date at all. The dating world is so pissy as hell because y'all focus on the wrong things. Y'all will focus on a man's pocket before y'all focus on his heart. And that is really sad. I need y'all to open your head and understand that just because a man has a lot of money does not make him a good person at heart. Now, I'm not saying to settle down for a man who don't have anything going on for himself and who is financially unstable. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that when you go out to date somebody, make sure you're looking at who they are as a person versus you watching their pockets. Because to me, that's so weird. This video gave very much classist vibes. Like at the end of the day, someone with $50,000 can still date somebody, right? And take care of them financially and do what they got to do as a man. But to exclude them or to degrade them is not okay at all. Let's normalize letting people feel in confident and comfortable in their living situation so what i mean by that is if they're making fifty thousand dollars a year and they are able to take care of their family pay all the bills do what they got to do as a man then they deserve love i said what i said and if you want to watch someone's pocket you better make sure that your pocket is matching theirs as well I'm, I'm just being for real. You're not Welcome to my channel where I peacefully fuck up your illusion of where the truth only hurts when you live a lie. So no, I disagree with her 100%. I'm only going to speak for me. Only for me. This doesn't apply to nobody else. I don't need nobody saying nothing crazy to me because of an opinion that I have of myself. My pockets are hurting. My heart is hurting. In the midst of dating, like my mind, if my pockets are hurting, I'm not thinking about 
dating or being with anybody at the moment. Got to get me straight first. Even when I make love, it's not going to be at its optimum because I'm be thinking about bills and debt. You know, I I can't can't do anything with a broke mindset. Honestly, like if my pockets is hurting, I'm gonna be thinking about how I'm gonna try to get some money. That's just me though. But I'll tell you why I disagree with her. The reason why I disagree with her is because anything you put a price on is no longer priceless. So in the midst of your situation, if your love have a price on it, then your love ain't priceless for those who need it. I'm I'm just being for real. You're not somebody sent me this bullshit last night and there's just so much I wanna say. First and foremost, if I was a man making 50k a year, I wouldn't even date you. Secondly, when did 50k not become enough to take someone out for a drink, to take someone to dinner, to go to the movies, go bowling, pool hall? When? Last year, the average male made $61,000. I believe the women made 52. The average black American made 47. When, this is why I'm tired of these podcasts. When did we become so comfortable? It's one thing to have standards, but why are we pushing a narrative onto people strong enough to say you can't date? If I wanted to push an ignorant ass narrative like this girl did, I would tell her you can't date looking like that. Your health and your body is not, you have not succeeded when it comes to your physical appearance. And that's something that you can work on. How wrong of a person would I be to sit there and tell her that she's not allowed to date based off the way that she looks? And I say all that to say, it's okay to have, you know, a preference or your standard, but to sit there and tell people they should not be dating is just pure ignorance. And what is what does a shoe look like? What does bottom of the barrel look like to her based off 50K? You don't know what's in somebody's pockets. You you don't know their bills. You don't know if they have debt. They could have none of that. They could have minimal debt and they could be living just fine and able to date. So anyways, I don't know who this woman is, but sometimes it, it just makes you wonder, what are you working with? Is she single? Are you married? Are you in a relationship? Do you have a ring? When was the last date you went on? And who did you go on a date with? And where did they take you? For someone to have this mindset, I want to know what you're really working with for you to think this way. What do you guys think about all these stitches? And what are your thoughts about the woman who said if you earn around $50,000, you should not be dating. I love the point that the very first woman made where she said the problem is not about the money that these people are making because they sacrifice so much. Like so many hours goes into them being able to get that amount of money that almost mean nothing to that woman. But the problem is not the fact that these people earn that amount of money. The problem is the fact that the price of everything is crazy and it now makes it seem like people are working but they are not literally having anything after paying rent and that's it so i feel like that lady has a very good point the very first man to stick to that video you can tell that this man is so pissed like from the way he was talking you can tell that he was just so pissed because it slightly came for the woman as well but let me hear your thoughts about what they all said in the comment section the only thing that i'm concerned about whenever i come across podcasts or people who just make claims and just talk like this is i just feel sorry for people who take social media seriously and they will live their life the way social media is presenting it to them like people who use social media as a job of if they should be with a man if they should do this if they should do that because beyond all of that there's a reality beyond this cameras certain cameras certain microphones there's a reality literally waiting and not everybody will be able to make high income or not everybody will be able to make such high amount of money that some people are talking about so let me hear your thoughts about what they all said in the comment section what do you think about or oh, if you earn fifty thousand dollars you should not be dating especially judging by the fact that that is the average income of so many americans like 
what do you think they should do? They should not be in love. They are not worthy to be romantically connected with somebody because they earn around forty seven thousand dollars to fifty thousand dollars. So I would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you all so much for joining. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe before you go and turn your bell notification on. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. And I love you guys.